Hello everyone. Welcome back. Please comment, rate, subscribe, follow, comment, rate, subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos. I want to thank everyone that does like watching and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen, folks, there's a link to you down below. It has links to all of my social media platforms. Please go down there, follow me across all my social media platforms and talk to me because I talk back. Also down there as well as links to all of my YouTube pages. Please go down there, subscribe to all my YouTube pages and turn on your notifications so when I post content, you folks will be in the know. Listen, folks. Friday, okay, today at 7 p.m. Eastern, we'll be doing a live radio show. We'll be talking about free agency. We'll be talking about the New York Jets, things that have done to the roster. We'll also be talking about stuff that's going on around the league as well. So call in. I love going back and forth with folks about this football team. So with that said and done and put to the side, I've come to talk to you folks today about some more recent New York Jets free agency moves, man. You know what I'm saying? We got Tyler Conklin. We got Jacob Martin. We also made a trade as well, Cashman. So we're going to discuss these things. You know what I'm saying? Listen, Joe Douglas does not stop wheeling and dealing at all. This staff has done a superb job. And we're going to discuss that on the radio show. We're going to discuss uh, some of the moves right now as well. So first, I want to start with Tyler Conklin, the tight end. We were able to get him. This guy used to play with the Vikings. We signed him to a three-year deal for 20 $21 million. Now, this is a guy that was kind of like, whoa, I was kind of kind of slipped up that we got him. I was like, hmm, this is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because we got CJ Uzma, right? And a lot of people thought, hey, it is what it is. The tight end position is definitely getting upgraded. You know, this is a position that we're definitely looking to get better because up until that point, we really had nothing. And so we thought Uzma, and then we'll go on the draft and we'll grab some, some guy out of the draft because the draft class is so deep. Well, you turn up, you go ahead and you get Tyler Conklin. It starts to make you wonder, do the New York Jets grab a tight end in the draft now, okay? Now, keep in mind, Conklin is coming off of 61 catches, 593 yards, and a three TD season. Now, this is a career high year for him. And that has some people kind of with question marks because, again, this is a career high year for him. A lot of people trying to call him a one-year wonder. Some people trying to say, oh, well, he had, you know, Justin Jefferson and Thien on the outside. Can he really be the guy if you have to count on him? Because because he had, you know, all that space opened up for him. And I always say, whoa, whoa, whoa. For those of you that just want to hate on something that the New York Jets are doing because we got him, slow down. Listen, those routes don't run themselves, okay? <laughs> those routes don't run themselves, okay? He went out there, got open, and made the plays. Those catches just don't catch themselves, you know what I'm saying? He went out there, made plays, and got it done. So, I do think that he'll fit within the system again with him and Uzma here. I think we'll have that two tight end system that LaFleur has talked about in the past, wanting to run more here. It's a, it's a, it's a, a, a part uh, of the playbook that is definitely going to confuse a lot of defenses. Now when we go in the big and you have Uzma and Conklin out there, it's not, oh, well, the Jets are going to run. No, no. I suggest you not think that because if you do and you're trying to come downhill looking for you know us to hand it off to the running backs, guess what? You're going to get dusted by one of our tight ends, and, it, and we're going to make it happen. And this is going to also benefit Zach Wilson as well. He's got two big body guys he can just dump it off to when the pressure is coming. You know what I'm saying? That was one of the things that he was missing last season. So I like this move. I like what was done here. I'm looking to see what the New York Jets are going to do in the draft, okay? I'm looking to see what happens there. Will we take another tight end? Also, Ryan Griffin as well. This puts his position on the team in question too. You know, will you keep all three of those guys? You know, probably. Uh, I don't think so. I think they're going to move on from Griffin, and if they do cut Griffin, he does give the New York Jets a bit of cap relief. So, that's what I eventually what I think is going to happen with Ryan Griffin. So this was a solid signing. I like bringing Conklin in. Good job, Joe Douglas. So the next signing we made as well, Jacob Martin. We brought in Jacob Martin, defensive end, three-year deal, $13.5 million. Now listen here. This was a decent move as well. He had four sacks last season. Here's a guy that has a high motor. He's going to really be a part of of the pass rushing rotation. Now, he's not the ipto facto pass rusher that we were all looking for coming into this offseason, but he's a guy that Sella is going to install within his defense to come in within the rotation and really give us some edge pressure from that situation. Now, again, outside of Carl Lawson, and we'll see how he comes back this year, he's coming off of that torn Achilles. I always have to keep reminding people of that. We're going to see him, you know, work himself back into you know, the Carl Lawson that we hoped that we were getting. We'll see what we get out of him, right? But outside of Carl Lawson, 
there's really nobody here that can rush the passer. You got John Franklin Myers, who's the next guy up, but we also saw John Franklin Myers completely disappear at times during this season. There were times when John Franklin Myers was out there and people were like, is he even in the game? Because there was nothing. And then honestly, after him, there's nobody. There's just nothing there. So being able to bring this guy in, have him you know, come in, give us some edge pressure, do his thing out there within the defense is going to do nothing but bode well for a defense that lacks edge rush, okay? Lacks edge rush severely. A lot of people will talk about him being undersized. Look, I don't want to hear that either. This guy's got a high motor. He gets after it. He's going to handle business. So I like this guy. I like what he brings to the system. I like Joe Douglas making this move as well, bringing in Jacob Martin. So the next move as well that the New York Jets made... <laughs> We made a trade, buddy. <laughs> okay, we made a trade. Listen, we traded Blake Cashman, the New York Jets traded Blake Cashman to the Houston Texans for a 2023 six round pick. I am blown away, okay? I don't know what Joe Douglas is telling these other GMs while he's on the phone with them. I don't know what he's promising them. I don't know what how he's talking these players up. I don't know. But if you are trying to tell me that Joe Douglas does not understand the art of negotiation, sir, you are wrong, okay? Because this guy is making things happen that I never thought you could make happen, all right? And, and I'm just keeping it real. I want Joe Douglas to be my agent one day. You know what I'm saying? Work, work out some deals for me, Joe. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? Blake Cashman is so often injured, it's ridiculous, all right? This guy has played 14 games in three seasons. I'm going to say it again. <laughs> he played 14 games in three seasons. He's always pretty much guaranteed to be on the IR every single season. He gets hurt and misses long periods of time every single season. Every season. It never fails. Since we drafted him, before we drafted him, he had a history of injuries as well. McCagnan took him in the fifth round, I believe. And the guy just could not stay healthy, and Joe Douglas actually ends up getting capital for him. It's insane. He did this. Chris Herndon, same thing. A, a tight end that had never done anything here. We sent him to the Vikings. He got capital back for him. Insane. He worked a deal with the Seattle Seahawks, got rid of Jamal Adams for two first-round picks. The guy's a box safety. I don't know what Joe Douglas is telling these guys, but keep doing your thing, Joe. I love this trade because, again, Cashman was a guy, honestly, we were probably going to cut anyway because he's never, ever, ever healthy. Ever healthy. Good move by the New York Jets. So now I want to talk about something else as well. The culture change with the New York Jets is clear as day, all right? A lot of things that we're hearing from guys that we're bringing in is how much they want to be here, not because of cash, but because of what the New York Jets are doing. That is huge, okay? When you got guys like Whitehead, DJ Reed saying that they wanted to come here because of Robert Sulla. They love him, they love him as a coach, and they love what he brings to the table. That is huge. We are starting to see the New York Jets be attractive to free agents, where guys that are out there are going, you know what? That team over there wearing green, they're doing something over there. I want to be a part of it. You got guys like CJ Uzma, who I love. CJ Uzma is so excited, and the first thing he said was, listen, I wanted to come here because of the culture. I wanted to come here because of what the New York Jets are doing. That is huge, because as long as I've been a Jets fan, the New York Jets have always been a doormat, always been a doormat for the NFL. It's always been guys wanting to come here just to get paid and leave. Those days are over, and Joe Douglas and his staff are changing things. Salutes to Joe Douglas. Salutes to Robert Sulla. Let's keep it going and keep it rolling. Get the Jets back to where we need to be. Listen, comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. Let's go back and forth. How are you feeling about the Jets free agency? Talk to me. We'll be doing a live radio show, okay? Live radio show today, 7 p.m. Eastern. Let's get it. Go Jets! Peace.